Okay, so in this video I am working on either a window or wall hanging uh, crappie and I am using a syringe um, it's got a curved and narrow tip on it to get the black uh, tinted resin into the little um, crevices like that to form my silhouette for this piece. Um, and I'm the reason I'm using a syringe, it was actually suggested in one of the resin groups that I'm in. I struggle getting the pipettes to work with my resin no matter how um, fluid I can seem to get it. It just I suck with the pipettes, I don't know why. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just using this um, syringe that I got at like my local tractor supply store. I grabbed a couple of them. Uh, I saw this one and I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. I like the fact that the tip is a little bit curved and it's narrow. So um, I actually really do like this one and, and it's working, I'm still struggling. It is a little bit of a challenge to uh, move it around into the mold to get it into all the little um, crevices while you're trying to squeeze the, <laughs> the end. So, uh, but all in all, I think everything worked out. And the easiest way that for me to fill, rather than trying to suction the resin um, into the syringe, is I actually pull the plunger out. Um, you'll see that here in a minute. I just pull the plunger out and I actually pour the resin from out of my cup down into the syringe and then pop the plunger back in. So it's the easiest way that I found to do it just because this one did have such a narrow end on it. So anyway, I will end up filling this silhouette up and then I leave the piece for about 10 to 12 hours and then I come back to do um, the rest. Oh and in this spray bottle is um, it's either some I can't remember which alcohol I was using but I usually use uh, anywhere between 91 and 99 percent isopropyl alcohol it just depends on what I can get my hands on and so that's what I'm spraying in the mold periodically just to help the resin flow a little bit more into the crevices to wipe it down and then I actually just got some scissors and I just snipped a little bit of the tip off and back at it we go. <laughs>
All right, at this point, I am just going through and I am using this little silicone uh, tool to just kind of clean up any overpour or drips or anything that is just not inside the little crevices. Um, and I am just using, um, I've got a tissue in my, not a tissue, but I have like a little paper towel in my other hand and I've sprayed some, uh, some of the alcohol on it and so like as I wipe it out of the mold, I'm also, I'm just like wiping what's on the little brush um, onto the the paper towel. So um, this is actually a makeup uh, brush. I think I got a set of nine um, off of Amazon. I'll post the link in the, I'll try to find the link and post it in the, the, the description. Um, but I really like this itty bitty little silicone sponge. It's great for getting into the small areas. And then um, there was like some bigger flat ones and but this is by far my favorite for cleanup purposes. <laughs> As you can see when it's up here, it looks pink. So I let the red dry for um, about another 10 to 12 hours and then I came back and did a layer of white uh, resin to just kind of top it all off. Uh, I thought maybe that would bring out the red a little bit more, but um, yeah, I think it still looks a little pink when it's unmolded, but for my first one, not too bad. sure if I should have just did it all with the red alcohol ink or and not added the white or what but it was my first go. Um, my friend, uh, husband's friend liked it so that's really all that matters. Thanks for watching y'all. <laughs> 